Unit 3, Lesson 2, Anchoring Units of Measurement. Number 1. Select the unit from the list that you would use to measure each object. The length of a pencil, that would be inches or centimeters. B. The weight or mass of a pencil, that would be grams or ounces. C. The volume of a pencil, that would be milliliters. D, the weight or mass of a hippopotamus, that would be pounds, kilograms, or tons. E, the length of a hippopotamus, that would be feet, yards, or meters. F, the length of a fingernail clipping. That would be millimeters. G, the weight or mass of a fingernail clipping. That would be grams. H, the volume of a sink. That would be gallons, liters. Or quarts. I, the volume of a bowl, that would be cups, liters, or quarts. J, the length of a chalkboard or whiteboard, that would be feet, meters, or yards. K, the weight or mass of a chalkboard or whiteboard. That would be kilograms or pounds. L, the length of the border between the United States and Canada. That would be kilometers or miles. Number two, when this pet hamster is put on a digital scale. The scale reads 1.5. What could be the units? Ounces. Number three, circle the larger unit of measure. Then determine if the unit measures distance, volume, or weight. Number four, Elena mixes five cups of apple juice with two cups of sparkling water to make sparkling apple juice. For a party, she wants to make 35 cups of sparkling apple juice. How much of each ingredient should Elena use? Explain or show your reasoning. Five cups of apple juice, two cups of sparkling water, totals seven cups. She wants 35 cups at her party. So in order to turn seven into 35, we must multiply it by five because 35 is five times larger than seven. So we need to multiply the five cups of apple juice times five to get 25 cups and two cups of sparkling water times five to get 10 cups. Twenty-five cups of apple juice plus ten cups of sparkling water equals thirty-five cups of sparkling apple juice. Number five. Lynn bought three hats for twenty-two dollars fifty cents. At this rate, how many hats could she buy with sixty dollars? If you get stuck, try using the table. How many hats can Lynn purchase with sixty dollars? 
well, if three hats cost $22.50, we need to figure out what the unit price is. So in order to have one hat, we would divide three by three, and that would be one, and $22.50 divided by three would be $7.50. We can find out how much five hats would cost. One times five is five, and $7.50 times five is $37.50. We still have plenty of more room because we can spend up to $60. Let's multiply 1 times 8 and then multiply $7.50 times 8. There you go, 750 cents times 8 equals exactly $60. Lynn can purchase 8 hats for $60. Number 6. Light travels about 180 million kilometers in 10 minutes. How far does it travel in one minute? How far does it travel in one second? Show your reasoning. One hundred eighty million kilometers traveled in 10 minutes. How far would that be in one minute? Well, let's move the decimal over one place to make it 10 times smaller. And then we bring down the 1, the 8, the 0, the next 0, the next 0, the next 0, and the next 0. So we should have 18 million kilometers traveled in one minute. So next it says, how far does it travel in one second? Well, we know that one minute is 60 seconds. So since one minute is 60 seconds, we can call this now 60 seconds. And 60 divided by 60 equals 1. So now we need to divide this by 60. So 18 million divided by 60. Well, I know 18 divided by 6 is 3. So 180 divided by 60 would also be 3. 180 divided by 60 is 3. And then bring down the remaining zeros. So light travels about 300,000 kilometers in one second. Congratulations, you have completed Unit 3, Lesson 2, Anchoring Units of Measurement.